get started. I'll just quickly show you my uh, palette. I've got Ultramarine, Lemon Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizarding Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. Got the large hake brush, jug of water and just a tea towel just to clean the, the brush on. Take the excess water off. So I'm going to start just by wetting the paper all over evenly. Just get nice and wet so you can get all the clouds in and whatnot before the thing starts to dry and you, you end up with hard edges. So give it a good soak and then I'm going straight into raw sienna just to give the background a bit of colour really. Quite randomly, don't be very particular about it. Next I'm going to go, uh, I might mix a bit of raw sienna with a bit of light red. And this could be like a, a, an evening, an evening scene or something like that. There's going to be water down the bottom so I'm going to reflect that right the way down. And maybe bit of ultramarine blue. Bring it across on the other side. A bit more blue I think. More down into the foreground. Lizarding Crimson and Pines Grey. Just pull a few clouds across. Maybe a few on the other side as well. And then, without cleaning the brush, these are in crimson, Payne's grey, ultramarine, uh, shall I go high or low? Uh, I'll come say a third of the way down for the horizon, I think. And just start to put in the distant mountains. And there's a few more slightly closer over on the right hand side. Bigger ones these I think. And these ones come down just slightly in front of those other ones. But you can see I, I put them in before the paint's dry so you get that misty, misty effect. Pushes them right back into the uh, into the distance. Had a bit too much water on the brush then. We could go raw sienna. Just change the colour on there on this side a little bit. I think <coughs> you can see how the paper stretched lightly. So I'm gonna. In fact, we've got the dreaded runs up there. It's going to dry that before it starts running everywhere. But you can see how I didn't quite get this in on time, so I've ended up with these hard edges, but it's it, not so bad. It, I think you still get away with it, it just adds a bit of interest, I think. If I'd have wet the paper a bit more or done it a bit quicker, that would have gone soft. 
just like we've got the soft hills on the arrival.